All right, so just got through listening to Devin's video talking about how we're different. His 2016 story hit pretty close to home for me because you think about 2020, no WL. My primary source of income is our gym. I even had to send my wife back to work as a nurse, front line with no real protective gear, coming home and putting her mask in a paper bag so she could reuse it. It's not the life that I want. He's talking about that one day, that match in 2016, that event in 2016 was gonna cover his income for the year. Well, with this win bonus, it's a pretty significant victory. It's a pretty significant income to provide for my family. So that's my focus. My motivating factor isn't a fear of losing. Now I do believe a disgust for losing is a much greater motivator than the thrill of winning or the opportunity of winning, especially when there is none. I'm in this thing to prove on that day I'm the more complete arm wrestler. I'm the stronger arm wrestler. Now in regards to Devin saying I called him out when he was skinny and puny, he knows I called him. Ask him if he could be ready. He said, absolutely, Michael, I'll be ready. Now think about that. I have everything to lose. I've given this man all the excuses he could possibly want. And not even for Devin to use, but for all of his minions to say, well, Devin wasn't healthy. Devin was sick. If Devin would have been this, if Devin would have been that. But I had the opportunity to choose anybody I wanted. And when LeVon fell through, I chose Devin Larratt because I genuinely feel he's the greatest threat to me. And I'm happy to hear that this call out, that this match has changed his life in a positive manner because I want the very best Devin. I want the athlete Devin. I want the guy that I bragged about and told stories about, the legendary Devin Larratt, the king of endurance. That's the guy I want to beat. In regards to my declining of the left-handed match, there's zero fear of losing left-handed because I honestly don't care that much. But I'm just not letting anything detract me from my focus on this right arm. And if you guys can see through all the bullshit, that's all he's doing. He's trying to distract me because he knows what's coming on May 28th. You're not ready. Too strong.